So recently, somebody gave me their opinion on a movie and told me that I needed to go to the theater and see it. It was something that it needed to be seen on the big screen, that it was a fun movie, it was worth seeing. And that's kind of an indicator of what it is because I went and saw the movie The Fall Guy and I have nothing but good things to say about it. Which brings me to the point of that maybe we need to give movie theaters a second chance. It's not a big secret that movie theaters have been kind of having a hard time getting people in the seats, having people come in and actually watch a movie. And I've talked about this recently. And my big problem with all these movies that were coming out and have been coming out is that there's nothing new that's happening in these movies. But one thing that I I really appreciate about The Fall Guy is that it was original. Now, there is a TV show that is loosely based on, that had, I think, five seasons, and it's called Fall Guy, but it's not exactly a copy of the show. In the show, he's, they're stuntmen, um, the main character and the, uh, the female stuntman in the, in the show have the same roles in the movie, except for he's a stuntman and she's a director. That's the difference. And also in the TV show, they weren't just stunt people. They were bounty hunters in their spare time, I guess. Never really watched it, so don't know for sure the full story. I just read the synopsis of it, so do with that what you will. I don't, I don't know. But the movie is like a great original idea. It's fun from the beginning to the end. So this video is not about talking negatively actually about the movie industry or talking negatively about this movie or talking negatively about anything. This is talking about a bright spot in what seems to be like a rather bland and dark situation that the movie theaters are in currently. One of the biggest things about this movie is not the stars. Even though the stars do a very good job, I appreciate what they did in the movie. I don't dislike them. But it's actually the dialogue. The dialogue in the movie, the story set up, is fun. I was never bored. Especially when there were scenes, scenes with just dialogue in them. I actually listened to what was happening because it wasn't just whatever badly written dialogue inserted into a movie that's been going on lately. Somehow Palpatine returned. It was fun and it was made between characters that actually had some sort of camaraderie, had something to do with each other, and when they talked with each other or to each other, there was actual meaning behind it and it was uh, usually playful banter, it was usually jokes, but sometimes it was, you know, serious things too, which, which is fun. And one of the biggest things that this movie focused on, besides the dialogue, was what the movie was about, which was stunts. Practical stunts involving some of the best stunt people to work in the industry. Some of the people that risk their, their lives for this living, which honestly looks like an awesome job if you're, if you're decent at it. And part of me is like, I really wish... I was a stuntman. Not like Hot Rod style. Um, like, like a cool like movie stunt double type thing. That that would be cool. Did we reinforce the takeoff ramp? No, we didn't have time. Cool. And also, my God, my air conditioning is out, so it's hot. It's it's like a fire in this house. Anyway, moving on. Even though I got those reviews, it's done good with that. The movie has actually been underwhelming within the box office. So currently the movie is sitting at 165.8 million against a 125 to 150 million dollar budget. So apparently what it would have to do to break even would be about 300 million dollars. Which, with a movie that has multiple famous 
actors in it and it's got a great director who's directed other movies like Deadpool 2 he's directed John Wick um, Hobbs and Shaw Bullet Train he's made movies like movies that a lot of people have gone and seen so what the end product has become is that it's become a box office bomb which is sad because what I was talking about before and what I'm going to talk about now is the fact that these original movies that deserve the attention for some reason aren't getting it and I think a part of that is is that people have just come to expect that these large movies that all pretty much a lot of movies coming to theaters these days are going to be garbage so they've stopped giving a lot of movies a chance and this is sad collateral of that because the fact is is this movie is exactly what a lot of people would want to see I guarantee when this movie comes out it becomes syndicated on TV like all these other movies that didn't do well over time they will do well people will watch them so my, this will gain like quite a following and I bet you it'll do way better after being out of the theaters so this is kind of my segue into saying that we might need to give movie theaters another chance when you give a movie like this a chance and you go and you actually give your money to the movie theater and to the company that's making it it'll direct them in that direction of saying this is the type of movies that people are wanting to watch now I'm gonna say something that might not be well liked by everybody but there's no messaging in here it's like 007 and Jason Bourne meet a comedy is what this movie feels like and I feel like if a lot of people went and saw this this would be right up their alley and but what I mean by just being a straightforward movie is that it gives you the character gives you their backgrounds puts them in a situation and then you watch the situation unfold and how he handles it or how the whole crew handles it or how all the the different characters handle it within the movie there's nothing else it's just a movie it's just fun different good writing good story and I was so like wrapped up in the movie itself that I wasn't trying to look for like the evidence of who done it or anything like that to try to guess the ending of the movie I was just in the movie and not a lot of movies are like that anymore so I greatly appreciated this movie so yeah let's give movie theaters another chance if you haven't watched this movie the fall guy give it a chance let me know what you think it was just a fun movie to watch so, watch it.